Reporting services is an optional set of components of SQL Server that in combination lets you create and publish reports that use relational, multidimensional, or other forms of data. You can think of reporting services as a set of tools that allow you to create, manage, and view reports in a web-based environment. It's available for use with all SQL Server editions. In this module, you'll get a high-level view of the parts and pieces of reporting services so that you know what you're working with. I'll start by looking at the two modes you can install and operate a report server in, and why you might choose one over the other. Then I'll show you some of the extensive configuration options that you can use to fine-tune reporting features. Being a Microsoft Server product, Reporting Services has a fairly complex architecture, and I'll walk you through a high-level view of it. There are a lot of parts, and you need to have a good feel for how they all work, but you'll rarely have to get your hands too dirty with low-level details. Then I'll take a look at the tools available for building reports and walk through creating a simple report using Report Designer, the tool that IT professionals and developers are most likely to use. You'll get a solid introduction to Report Builder and learn how to install either the standalone version or the click once version, as accessible from Report Manager. I'll walk you through a tour of the Report Builder user interface so you'll know where to find the report building features that you need. Then I'll show you how to build a simple report and point out more of Report Builder's features. You'll learn about preview performance and the value of using reusable report parts to simplify and speed up report development. Finally, you'll learn about shared data sets as a way to make data access easier for end users, as well as the well-hidden designer for them built into Report Builder. Report Builder is a deceptively powerful tool, one that can serve both data professionals and power users. And this course will set you up to make good use of the tool.